Make this six ingredient whipped body butter recipe. For my friends who want to soothe and moisturize your skin, you need to learn the magic of using natural ingredients to make your own products. Let's make this soothing whipped body butter recipe together from Simply Earth. Hi, I'm Katie Veldkamp, co-founder of Simply Earth and certified aromatherapist, and I love teaching you how to turn natural ingredients into natural products that you can use every day. So turn off distractions, making is healing. Let's get ready to get started. Before we get started, I wanna make sure you know that we at Simply Earth are obsessed with making it super easy to make your own natural products for your home. And that's why you can find all the ingredients you need for today's recipe in our body care recipe box or on our website at simplyearth.com. For this recipe, you'll wanna grab your recipe card, mango butter, Simply Earth's body oil base, half a teaspoon of coconut oil, relief essential oil blend, juniper berry essential oil, and lavender, and we're using lavender Bulgarian. You'll also wanna grab a small jar to put your recipe in. All right, let's make this. To make this recipe, it's super simple. All we're gonna do is melt our oil ingredients together and then add our essential oils at the end and then do some whipping. So let's first melt our oils. Mango butter is super moisturizing without feeling greasy on the skin. And this is a little jar, so I'm actually putting three teaspoons in, which is the same as one tablespoon of mango butter. And one tablespoon of body oil base. This is simply our custom blend of carrier oils that's great for diluting essential oils and feels great on the skin. And a half tablespoon of solid coconut oil. You can swap this out with another butter, like more mango butter or shea butter if you would like. So now we're gonna melt this. You can do this using short intervals in a microwave, like 30 second intervals, or you can do this in a double boiler, which will give you more control over the melting process. Now that my oils have melted, we need to cool them down so we can whip them up. And I'm going to pour this into a bowl to make it cool down a little bit faster and make it easier to use my hand mixer. I'm gonna stick this in the freezer for a few minutes. What we're looking for is the outside to be solidified, but the middle to be soft. That's a really great consistency to be at for when we whip this up. So this has now cooled around the edges, but is still soft on the inside but not runny. And this is the consistency we want for whipping this up. It's gonna make it a really nice, smooth body butter, and hopefully we'll avoid graininess and weird texture in the body butter. So I'm gonna take a hand mixer and whip this up for a few minutes before putting it back in the fridge. So you can see my body butter has gone liquid again, and that's because as I'm stirring it, I am adding heat to it. I'm adding a whole bunch of friction that heats this body butter back up. So I'm gonna put this back in the fridge, allow it to set, and then whip it up again to help create that really nice, smooth, whipped effect. So that has solidified, and it might seem kind of funny to stick it in and out of the freezer all the time, but it really is gonna help create that beautiful, whipped consistency that you want in a body butter. So we're gonna whip this up, then we'll add our oils, and we should be good to go. Now we're gonna add our essential oils. We're going to be adding 10 drops of lavender, 10 drops of Simply Earth's Relief Blend, All these oils are super soothing to the skin and they smell really good. So I'm gonna whip this into our body butter. So I'm gonna pour this into a jar and like I mentioned, body butters are pretty finicky. Depending on where you live and the temperature of your environment, this body butter might get really hard or it might get too soft as it comes to room temperature overnight. So let this sit overnight, examine the consistency. If it's amazing, leave it as is. But if it's a little off from what you want, you can remelt it. And if it's too soft, add a little bit more mango butter or coconut oil. And if it's too hard, add a little bit more almond oil or simply the earth's body oil base. 
And don't forget to label your body butter so you don't forget what it is. It's hard to use your amazing recipe if it's not labeled. Let's test it out. You're going to love the soothing and moisturizing benefits of this rich and decadent body butter. I love to see your creations on social media, so please take a picture of your amazing body butter and share it with hashtag I made this and tag from Simply Earth, and you can be entered into our $5 monthly giveaway drawing. And you can make this too if you want to turn natural ingredients and your essential oils into natural products like this soothing whipped body butter, then you need to subscribe to Simply Earth's essential oil recipe box. It actually teaches you how to make recipes like this one, unlocking the magic of natural ingredients.